It's getting hot in here, cause we are making beer. Check it out. We're gonna make some beer today. Beer, you say? Yes, beer, I say. Hooray for beer. Hooray! All right, what you need is some hops. Like this gathered from somewhere you gathered them, or you can buy them. I gathered them. I found a bush and I trimmed it a bit. Sorry, but I asked first. In the water. This is um, takes a minute. I don't know. I packed in about four ounces of hops, um, which is, it takes a lot of volume. Um, so you do that to a gallon of spring water. I use spring water. They say to use like distilled and, and all that, but you don't necessarily have to do that. I, I prefer to use the artesian water. That's what I brew my kombucha with. LBA, it's the best on the market, I guarantee it. Better than the commercial stuff, because it's got one ingredient that is definitely in it, and it's love, forever with it. Okay, one gallon, four ounces of hops, two cups of sugar, this is a little bit more. And, uh, because we're making a cider beer. Um, whoops, get back there. On the burners, you. Seriously, stir it in a little bit. Let the hops, I mean, we're just gonna do this in real time because it's easy peasy. Let the hops and the sugar steep. You get a little bit of the Ido star. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's backwards. It's basically iodine. You throw a little bit in the bottle, just a titch will do it because, um, yeah, just a titch will do it. Stay golden, brace yourself. Oh, I was silly. What I should have done was done this in the first one. And then I could have transferred the water from this one into that one, like that. So, but we'll just do this. Real time. Everybody, shake your jugs like this. Yeah, the iodine's really clean. And by the time you've done rinsing it, there's not much of a residue of that, so it doesn't taint the flavor of your brew. And uh, there's other methods of doing this. Vinegar would be good. Boiling it would be good. Just getting a workout, shaking my jugs. It's turned. Let's see, let's get a bowl up there. Oh, we can just run it into this cup, I suppose. See that? It's about the color of beer. So you probably can stop or you can let it steep. It's up to you, depending on how hoppy you want your brew. I want mine cider hoppy because it's a little more sweet. <laughs> anyway, well, cut your hops. Get your jugs, sterilize them. And ahead of time, Go ahead and get yourself, because all this sugar will be consumed by the active dry yeast that I add into the bottles, um, these. 
evenly. These are one gallons. They don't really need much. Just a titch will kick it off to ferment and sugars turn to liquor, beer, or whatever you're doing with your ferments. I'll have to show you all how to make uh, ethanol to like distill your herbal extracts and stuff like that. That would be a good thing because ethanol is kind of pricey. If you do look for it online, it's... Wish I had better light, that so looks like pee. Like... I'm doing one gallon of cider, right? And then one gallon of water. So, that's all. Oh, wait. Add the lactose in. Jeez. Don't forget a step. Because it um, just makes it slightly sweeter. Um, I did this before, but I didn't get full clips, so I have to do it again right now, like we're doing. Um, maybe I should stir that lactose first, make sure it's all mixed in. I'd hate to add in, because this has been chilling in the fridge. This cider is harvested. Um, I made it myself. I made like five gallons that I harvested off of the tree just for the fun of it and that video actually got contaminated too and didn't make it out. Um, yeah, it's about right. That's also the thing too, you can kind of taste where you're going with things a little bit before you get your product with the brew. If it's like too sour, you're gonna get like a dry IPA taste. And that's kind of what I stay with. It's like the drier IPA yeasts. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, they say to uh, like measure out your active yeast evenly and uh, do not, but uh, Honestly, when you're doing a gallon, just, I mean, you're okay with, you're not going to underdo it with your yeast in one of these packets. And it's not going to contaminate too much, like, if you uh, happen to... add a titch extra, it's not going to really, like, change your flavor profile too much. Well, then again, if you threw an ex accidentally threw a pound of it in, that's going to be pretty freaking rancid. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I do a blend of beer yeast and a champagne yeast with the cider. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference. I just had a bunch of the different ones and thought I would blend them together. So I'm going to add a little more. Just a little more. Again, like, just because they don't feel comfortable, then it'll ferment. You gotta wait about two weeks for this. Okay. spring water to guess. Okay. 
real time. Maybe sometime I'll make one. <clears throat> still feel that there's some sugar crystals in there, not fully dissolved, or if it's the lactose. Like, I tried to use it to glue some labels on kombucha, and oh my gosh, that didn't work, it all fell off. I had to go back to the shop to fix the problem, and the thing it was, was like 90% of my product had sold, so that wasn't such a bad thing. I gotta fill an order quickly, I guess. Like, this is information to know, I usually space out my stops for a couple weeks. Yeah, make sure your sugars are nice and melty. And that the water is a temperature that it's a comfortable warm, not too, too much. Just enough to activate the yeast. With the cold mixed in with the hot, it actually makes it a perfect temperature to just go ahead and pour into these jars and start brewing. Um, Wiki. Hopefully, please, thank you. Sometimes I end up looking for things and it's like a uh, 20 minute journey and I don't think, dang it, that always happens sometimes. You're going to need to pick these up ahead of time. Um, like, they're um, airlocks. They go on the top of this thing, which I'll demonstrate after I carefully pour this stuff in here. Real time, real time! Um, right? Sometimes you go and drop your airlock on the floor. You want to make sure that you get to the fill line level. Like, I don't know if you can see it. As right there, it's kind of marked. Anyway, when you pick yours up for a dollar, I believe it was, and these were like, I mean, under twenty dollars to get yourself brewing. I mean, that is if you happen to have sugar at home. Sugar, and also water you. Oh my gosh. I get spacey sometimes. I, I mean, I could leave that up running on for 10 minutes and not notice. <sighs> that would be like irritating to the roommate. What are you doing? I am uh, doing the dishes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Shh. I'm done. Ooh. Next step is pouring it. I've got it. It's only a gallon. It's only a gallon. Thanks for on itself for short sakes. Don't do that. Apparently brewing is a sugary mess. Make sure that you 
have a screen to look at, so you got a reference for where you're at, and put like a fork or something because if you do, the funnel will seal, or have someone help you, which is kind of silly of me because she's not on camera. It's kind of a fun game of don't spill the juice. there and a little bit left. Woo! <sighs> Coyote Kitchen where we drop things and bang stuff and oh, so much love in real time. That's all the possible stress you got to go through besides cleanup but I'm not going to make you watch that. Even though it might be fun to watch me on my hands and knees scrubbing this floor. But I'm going to stick this right into the closet. And because it keeps an even temperature in there, that's actually here. It's go figure. Um, and two weeks later, rebottle it. Maybe we'll do a rebottling and get your beer fizzy episode, which is a process. You just add sucrose. A sugar crystal into it and it fizzes up otherwise you get flat stuff that's more like a wine and yeah we're not going for that we're going for fizzy yummy beer right so like and subscribe if you think this video was helpful and you could possibly what well, I mean if I can do this you can do it too so, like, I know you can do this. You can go to that like button and that subscribe button and smash it, smash it, and then share it. Yeah, come on, sharing is caring. Teach everyone how to brew beer. Come on. Like, share it, share it, share it. Thanks for watching. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, um, stay coyote. <laughs> um, peace. <laughs>